Greetings, welcome back. This is triage number 11 on November 14th. As always, we spend no time on this slide and we immediately jump over to the website where we have all of our issues to be untriaged. Um, and I need to hit the refresh because I know we got one. Haha, -ha, 4.30. So, I guess we're going to start at the top. It looks like we have one, two, three, four, maybe five that have come in that aren't ancient history. So, let's do that. You ready to go, Bob? Um, yeah, good. I was able to log in. Yes, I'm ready. I hope you're able to log in. Haven't been yeah, having issues with weird, that in a while. Had a weird problem there, but I'm good now. Creating pure patch with melt and pyro fails with pyro 103 errors. Oh, well, that's not So, good. So we're trending toward the idea that there's a bug in melt. Okay. Um, well, which this has been I an am... ongoing discussion? Yes. Good. Oh. Um, I am... Since I did that functionality in Melts, um, I will happily take this uh, to investigate. I assume it's not 3.8, though. Well, uh, I'll leave that untouched for now. That kind of harkens back to the uh, beginning of the meeting. Um, so I'll take this bug to investigate for, um, you know, if it's a dumb bug in Melt that has a low risk fix. I consider taking it uh, in 3.8 if we end up with another release candidate. Um, otherwise, yes, it is a 3x, 3x bug. Um, okay. If you say so. Okay. Uh, Jacob, this is a, a special mode of melt that is used to update Wix PDBs and extract MSI content. I, I've, I've realized several times that putting it in melt, even though it fit well programmatically, was a bad idea because melt is some, something people yeah. have ignored. And in four, we just have to do a better job with Wix PDBs. It's, I mean, we just have to we have to revisit this whole thing. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, look, we got another one in that amount of time. So, um, moving on. So you're saying that's going to go in three eight, but it's not going to. All right. You're going to find a fix in that amount of time and get it in? No, I, I'm, I'll, I'll investigate it today. Okay. Um, and depending on the fix and whether we do an RC2, I might consider it 438. All right. Again, I'm looking at the idea that, that there is some simple stupid bug in Melt. I see. Wrote. I see. Okay. Um, I'm betting that's in 3X. All right. VS <laughs> template, multiple projects, uh, project not optional. Yeah, I've seen this happen before. Unrecognized GUID format, right. Work around, fake GUID, builds. Oh, it's a solution thing. I don't I hate solutions. I hate this error. Um, so in the end, the thing is optional, but you need it for solution files. We should at least get a better. I, I, I would vote we take this in 3x because you need a better error message than what it's given. That would be uh, my my vote for this. Yeah. Because <laughs> I mean that doesn't I, tell I, you what to do. I mean this is this is well yeah worst uh, error message ever. Not worse, but it's up there. Um, uh, yeah, if this is something we have control over. Uh, Voted is pretty uh, fair enough. I, we should keep it. Figure that out. I would say yes. we should take it three x. <laughs> this is a bad error message. Agreed. Fail to create patch by pyro file name. To, we still are skeptical that this is the root. Oh, all right. So Blair has come in here. Blair really needs to fix his ID. Um, when the ID is too long, the object is set to null. Okay. I need to know if, if oh should fix this for three eight or three nine. I'll have a pull request. Ah, perfect example. If we have a pull request for that, five lines, <laughs> two abrasives, if statement. So this is basically going to check if it's a object or not and skip this and not fail when something is set the wrong way. Right. Um, perfect example. Are we doing the RC2 or not? Right. If we didn't, how bad is this? Don't do that. Except you're going to get stuck because you can't fix the file ID at that point. Yeah, yeah. This is 
uh, you know, this is uh, probably something in the um, middle of the road. All right, Jacob uh, had a strong opinion of keeping it in November. I'm curious where you would land on this bug, Jacob. Would you push this to uh, 3.9? We, I mean, for example, just curious, knowing that we could take a couple weeks, if this is as simple as Blair says it is, would you push this for 3.9, knowing that it's probably been in there forever? So, I mean, I, I probably would tend to say we should just toss it 3.9. I'm curious. It has been in there forever. I would, uh, you know. I'm just I'm curious because Jacob had a strong opinion on the last one. He had a stronger opinion than I, you I did. Oh, oh, he wasn't strong either way. <laughs> uh, you, you want to talk? Well, to I mean, vote this out is there? something too. All the possible bugs first. All right, that's not going to help us with bugs. So does that mean we keep this one open? We come back to it at the end of triage. This is really, it's not a question of whether we take it, it's a question of whether we take it in 3 and 3 9, right? Agreed. Agreed. Okay, cool. So that's easy. So it's just a matter of do we risk it in 3 9, whatever it means. Do we make an RC2? Yes. I agree. I would, I would probably, for a fix like this, it, it sounds straightforward. I can't judge it because I don't have the fix in front of me. Yeah, I know. But, um, yeah, you know, it sounds straightforward. It sounds like a simple guard. Uh, it's in the core tool set, which kind of you know raises the the, the risk. Um, but I would probably take this if we if we did an RC two. All right. Well, we'll leave this one. I'll leave this tab open. We'll come back to it. That works. We're going to have to do that. Um, Yeah, so here's the burn bug. The, this is the run key that we have a fix for. Right. And I jumped in to get this in the triage. Um, so Tobias said he'd go for November, which means he'd be okay taking this in 3.9 because he knows how to go about and get this working for him um, if he wanted to take this in 3.8. So um, I assume this is the same bucket as the 4174. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a list of bugs up here that are basically on the edge of the 3839. And essentially, these are the bugs that are, people have fixes for right now that if we took them, would push Wix to an RC2. I think that's a fair way to say that, right? Yep. All right, so we'll see how many bugs we get up here, and then at the end, we can decide what we're doing on this. Patch bundle doesn't supersede. This is my bug. Yeah, and I'm not going to get to this because I'm gone all next week and things like that. I'm not going to get this even for RC2. So my comment down here was to suggest taking this at 3.9 because I won't have time to get to it. Yeah, we don't have a fix. We don't have a fix. Well, we have a fix, but we don't have it verified, and I'm still afraid of the side effects. I'm more afraid of the side effects on this thing than the run key because it's harder to test. Then I'm going to say we don't have a fix. <laughs> uh, no, we have a fix. I'm just afraid of the fix. That's I, I, It's not fair. This guy did. I think he found the fix. If this is the fix, I think this is it. So, yeah, anyway. Is, is there a pull request on this? Or yes. just a... Yes, okay. there's a pull request okay. open on this. It's okay. a matter of then, me going in and testing it, verifying yep. it. Uh, no, no, I did the same, I did the same thing with uh, the run key. Yeah, so, I know. That one is easier for me because I know how many code paths go through it. This thing is right in the middle of planning, key. and I just... Yeah, yeah. Anyway, 3.9 because I don't have time to get into it right now. Um, no, that, uh, that's... Yep. All right. We don't have it. We don't have it, so 3.9 it is. All right, this is from a while ago, and I think Blair fixed this, or he... he it's still repros. He figured out why it should go into 3.8. It's not a regression because it's a pretty poor bug and there's no workaround. So Blair su suggested that this bug, so Project Harvester doesn't unescape linked files with spaces. Right, so if you have a linked file and it has spaces, project harvesting fails. And he has a fix. So this is another one of those bugs that if we're doing RC2, we could consider taking it. All right, so I'm going to leave this tab up here, and we can decide. Again, it's not a question of whether we take it in the Wix. It's a question of whether we change this 3x up here to 3.9 or 3.8. Yep. Agreed? Agreed. All right. Woohoo! we're back into three years. So um, do we want to stop there? Or do we want to have the have it out? Because we're not going to take any of these 
three-year-old bugs at this point because they don't have fixes. Um, yeah, I, I, think, I, I, I mean, vote we should make the decision because if we run out of time, we need to have a decision. Yeah, <laughs> yeah good point. Yes, I agree with that. So we have a burn bug and a pyro bug and a heat bug. Uh, just for reminders, is the pyro bug where the name is too long, pyro's failing in here. Um, oh, someone wants to add a bug. Okay. Add this one. 105. Always best to have these open things. Oh, this is open oh, yes. in 3x. Ah, someone marked their bug as open without leaving it untriaged. How'd that happen? Oh, Bob changed it from untriaged to open. So Bob said it was good, and he put it in 3x, which is interesting. And it's fixed. All right. Well, all right, let's talk about this one. This has been marked into 3, 3x. So this is a good example. 3.8 or 3.9. Bob already changed it from 3.8 to 3x, so but that was probably before RC2. Um, September, yeah. Yeah, so votes, discussion... Um, oh yeah, I saw this pull request. Um, yeah, this is a whole bunch of type defs and if defs and or fixing our stuff. Yeah. Um, I I don't have a strong opinion three eight or three nine. We should take it. Cause it'd be nice to have all this cleaned up. And thank you. Yeah, for, doing for that. sure. Um, it, it's cleanup is always good, but I would prefer to avoid churn during. Yeah, so late in 3.8. It does require people to take a build and build their custom actions with it. But if we are custom actions build, chances are other people's stuff is going to build. So we use dutal and WCA util enough that I think if it was broken, we would have noticed. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty ambivalent. I go either way. Other people are going to have to vote more strongly than me. Anybody? This would not push me to an RC2, though. If we didn't have RC2, it oh, would be easily be yeah. I Yes, I definitely agree with that. Any thoughts out there? Sean's being all quiet. He's like, not going to do anything. Um, Sean went out and ran out of bug. Yeah, so Jacob is now ending up wishy-washy like us with the whole not strong either way. Remotely scary would be the run once change, and that's only an XP bug. Yes. Although XP, to be fair, is still 30% of the world, where Windows 7 is 40% of the world, and Windows 8's Vista, Mac, and Linux are the remaining 30. And ten, at least 10 more of that is Windows's. All right, so what are we doing here? Any votes, anybody? Um, for this particular bug, I vote 3.9. It's not bad, right? And it'll be in 3.9, it'll be there, it'll be all good. Yep. And we've had this forever, so it's good. All right, I, I, let's take it 3.9. Let's just reduce the amount of craziness we're putting in this RC2 if we have it. All right, cool. Even the guy that opened it and fixed it and all that is okay with that. So <laughs> vote for 3.9 wins. Okay. Um, Project Harvester, linked files with spaces. There's so many problems with Project Harvesting. Um, that, but that's my like, concern. I, is... I mean, this is this is whittling it down. Um, chances that this makes it worse? Mm -hmm. It's a very small change. Okay. That, you know, you can still do a lot of stuff in three lines, but it, it is a small change. Um, I guess my concern is that you know, project harvesting. It's not, uh, you know, a shining beacon in the night. Uh, all right, so so this bug isn't going to make us go do the RC2 either, then. I if, would, yeah, correct. If, if we did an RC2, would we take it? Uh, well, that's a different question. Um, well, I, I'm winning. This isn't the bug that's going to tip us, so it only turns into would we take it if we take the RC2. I, this process always bugs me. Yeah, I know. Would we take it? Um, so in general, I'm okay with taking this change if we do an RC2. 
um, it, it is in something that is already kind of broken, so we can we can make it worse, but you know, it's not uh, it's not it's 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 not a uh, a happy path for a lot of people. Yeah. At this point, all right, let's go back to sp the pyro bug has been around forever. This isn't going to make us get a a three eight a RC two either, right? Correct. So and and Tobias already said he wouldn't take this in three eight. Um, yeah, does anybody use it? Someone uses project harvesting, but it's none of us, so that's part of the problem. So and, and Tobias has already said that he's okay taking this in three nine. My vote would say that then because we're none of these are tipping us over for the RC two, let's not take the RC two. Let's stay the course. Let's go to three nine, put these in three nine, and declare victory. Take yeah. none of these changes, take none of the changes, stay with what we've had for the last couple of weeks and call it good. Yeah, I'm I'm I, I'm in agreement. Nothing is nothing here requires the R C two. Yeah. And and all this stuff will be in three nine and it'll be great. And it'll be in it'll be in three nine very quickly. Yes. Probably before three eight RPMs. So Well yeah, I don't know when we'll get a three nine build, but it'll be in three nine before what? yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. I, anybody, like, I'm just kind of getting the feel of the room, and at this point, given that feeling, people think that sounds reasonable. Works for oh, Jacob said works for me. All right, Sean works for you. People that have done stuff. Anybody? Anybody think we just said something that's completely not the right thing? Yeah, all right. I like it. Ship it. One of my favorite things to hear. Sean, one last thing. <laughs> send the cake. We're not doing cakes right now. We're, I'm still trying to figure out if we can do an online party. Yeah, all right. Sean's being so diplomatic there. But I think we're going to go with that. All right, cool. I have no amount of, no idea how many bugs we got, but I don't know if we're getting the 40. Um, <laughs> all right, here we go. We're back into three years ago. We'll see if these go any faster. Uh, as reported, this, you have this snippet. App settings... Check your app set, app settings, descriptions, class ID, yes. Just files, but the result is a file that is same. A prog ID field comp. Rightfully complains of duplicate register IDs. Should incorporate the registry key value. Can't use the value because that's not going to work. Yeah, okay, this I I don't know that we can fix this, um but we could put in three X if there is a fix. Um there's another bug way back in the past about prog ID ref where if you use prog IDs we end up creating the same keys twice and stuff like that. In Wix four with the concept of anonymous IDs, this probably won't be a problem, but that's a different world maybe. Maybe. Does that really No, maybe it won't solve the problem because if value still is not part of it. Yeah. And these are all, yeah. These aren't just MSI IDs. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure what we do here, but we're not going to solve the problem here. But I believe it's a problem. We could put it three X and see if we can come up with a solution. Okay. I expect whatever the solution is will be additive, not subtractive, or whatever that word is. Um, anyway, great unit test while Wix project is present. Oh, this is old. This is, this is really old. I want to say this is fixed. Because I remember we had this problem for a long time. Um, yeah, I. Mm. We, we this hasn't nobody's been complaining about this for a while. I thought this got fixed by moving to MPF. No, the, in the 2010 no, time frame. Well, I note the bug was against 2008. Exactly. I think that was that, and it's 3.0, which means it was before we'd had 2010 support, which brought in a whole new MPF, and I think that fixed a lot of these kooky problems. Okay. I, I I say we make this fixed from way back when, and the, I'm sure we will have another bug open very quickly if it's a problem. I'm pretty sure. Well, and 2008 goes away, and well, I guess there's that too, right? Even if it didn't, it, we're not yeah. fixing it right now. So, yep, that bug's toast. Set directory sequence gives you the options of both this, the option to do once. Yeah, yeah. I I thought we. 
I guess we haven't done this yet. I don't think we've done this yet. I, I've had the same thought. It would be nice if you could tell it to do once, which isn't supported by set directory set property. So yeah, that's a oh, valid feature I request. See. Yep. Okay. Totally valid, just not possible today. Register PS snap-in when 64-bit formats filed option registering 32 and 64-bit. The current only writes to 64, so snap is registered 32-bit. Oh, sounds like a fix for the PowerShell extension. Mm, and 64-bit could write for both 32-bit and 64-bit. That seems fair, right? So if you open, depending on which PowerShell, your your thing works correctly. Or you just add the 32-bit components. That might be the problem. Oh, well, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how this extension works. I haven't worked with it. So let's put it in 3x and someone could go fix it if they want to go That's into the fair. PowerShell extension. Because, I mean, I just fixed it, but I didn't look at it. When adding extensions automatically opens in selection directory containing with binaries. Well, that's true. Because you kind of have to browse to a custom location. Oh. What? Uh, that's not true. Not in 3.8. Oh, hold on. No, I think I think it's true. I see, I see. Yeah. Um, it seems like a reasonable idea to me. Yeah, I mean, the default is a default. I'm sure I never thought about it deeply. So, where where would Wix XDIR get set to? By default, I would point it to where we expect the binaries to be. But you could set it to wherever you wanted to. Yeah, but then you're going to have to launch Devon from a no, shell. No, no, no. If you've checked in the Wix binaries, then you've already customized your project files to set a few things. Uh, yeah, but then Photo's going to have to read the project. It already does. That's how it gets all of its data. It, it, What's that? Which X star is it required, though? No. Um, I, I guess it makes sense to me, the concept of it. Uh, yeah, the concept is fine. Okay. I'm I mean, just not sure Wix Exter is the oh, thing fine. to do. But. Okay, fine. So why don't I add that and go, there's still some design to do on this, but this could go into 3X and we would take it. Yes. Okay, cool. So let's add that to the comment and go from that. Yeah, so Christopher points out that it's next to the Wix DLLs where you want almost all the fight, but his thing is the binaries check the source control, and the source control path may change, and so they really wanted to default to Wix XDIR, so I don't know. Maybe. I, I don't know. Oh, I see. So it should default the path. Uh, I don't know. The way I read it, that seemed like a useful thing. Well, although actually... Wix tool path. Oh, I agree. It's something like Wix toolpath or something needs to be used instead. Fine. This this makes sense to me. All right, let's yeah, change no, this. It, it makes sense. In here, it seems like there's a decent feature if someone wanted to customize it for using Votive with their checked-in things. I don't pretend to have enough understanding of Votive to know how that scenario, all that works. So. I don't know. I always go edit my Wix project anyway in the path and remove well, the path. Yeah, so it comes down to... That's just yeah. me. I think the question, the reason it's interesting for other people, because you bring up that you know, it doesn't happen very often, is I think if you have to support a lot of developers in an org and you've done this centrally, them using Votive, it'd be nice if you defaulted to the location where the extensions were. Because like, I remember back in Visual Studio, we put our extensions in a different directory than next to the Wix DLL. I mean, we just standardized in an extensions directory. Um, but anyway. And truthfully, it's kind of, it's kind of a pain <laughs> to deal with extensions right now. You know, browse to them and then you gotta... Yeah, there's, yeah. There's ways that could be better. Best. I'm sure there's ways that we can make that better. Yeah, and Jacob brings up that Wix toolpath might make more sense and that's actually in the bug that Wix toolpath might make more sense than Wix extra. So anyway, I agree there, there's something there. Um, add support for solution project variables and linker parameters. Using a cabinet reuse that I want to specify. So put it... I don't understand. 
neither. This, yeah, so this is supported. This resolves, silently ignored, and cache is created. It's not good. That means that their target there isn't getting resolved at the right time in their MS build stuff. This is MS build usage, not Wix. Although they marked it as votives. But votive doesn't interpret any of this. I don't think this is a real bug. Let's close this and have them, if they want to come back, they can do so with a more information. They honestly should go Wix devs with their project file first, because this will just work. Agreed? Um, yeah. What are you hesitating about? I'm sorry, I'm hesitating trying to understand the bug. Um, so much detail left out. <sighs> One more good read. Let's just... Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't want to spend that much time on a bug that's not that great when really we need their project file and it looks like they're just using MS build wrong. I could see this being like in a property that's getting resolved before target there is in the right path and stuff like that. It's just not. Yeah, no, for sure. I'm plus open under votive. Um, it could be yeah. as simple as, you know, not, you know, I don't know, yeah. maybe the thing isn't getting escaped properly. If I rename a class, a new assembly reference does not change. Should be grace if all assembly reference can change. I agree. That would be cool. <laughs> if you can refactor the code and stuff like that. No idea what it would take to do refactoring in Votive, but that totally isn't a reasonable request. <laughs> Requires a lot more infrastructure than we probably have. Oh, man. It's like, you know, where Visual Studio says you want to change the name of the file. It says, hey, would you like to change sure. the name of this class? And change it? It's like, yes, that would be a freaking cool feature. I love that. Yes. But, oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. I'm it moving an option to force Light to use external build cabinets. I'm aware of CC, but Light always rebuilds the cabinets. This is probably a bug in reuse cabinets that was fixed later. I did have to fix a lot of stuff. So. Well, I'm concerned about the external aspect, as in he wants to use some other process to build the cabs. Oh, yeah, no, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. No. So if that's what this bug is about, then no. <laughs> we do too much. To... No. No. <laughs> no. Um, I would say that this is fixed because it works, and if that's what they want, then no. Uh, no. Uh, no. No. <laughs> I don't I don't want to deal with the process to build cabs externally. Resolution, no, no. Yeah, no, no, okay. no. yeah sorry, I, I'm not helpful, but uh, no. I'm there. That's... Yeah, okay. <sighs> no, it's, it's like they want to go build their cabinets and then have Wix use cabinets that they built via some other mechanism. I, I've Rather seen that letting... request before in the in the wild, and I had Rob's reaction. Oh gosh, there's so much that goes on, and we'd have to build so much verification on the other side, or it'd just be this big. It just ah uh, no. Uh, there's so yeah no. Cabbing is bad enough as it is, hard enough as it is. String extension to yeah more than thirty done. Tobias is giving us a negative <laughs> look on. 11 minutes. Thanks for stopping by, Tobias. Yeah, all right. Add string extensions to apply basic property string manipulation functions. For example, say property... Oh, sure, right. More extensions to do string manipulations. Sounds great. Someone should write that. Um, yeah, but he, he wants it at runtime. I know. A custom action. Oh, at runtime. What does that mean? I, I don't know. Oh, no, you're right. This doesn't make any sense. You're right. Property stream. We can't evaluate properties. This is the closest thing would be a preprocessor. Right. That's what he wants. Well, actually, the common thing was, you know, people who want to do, you know, like substring manipulation. I don't. Are you sure this is. 
he has to build a custom action to do this. It'd be great if there is a string extension that can do it for me. I think he still wants runtime. I think he, he, he just doesn't want to write a custom action himself, and I think that's fair. I think that's fair. I don't know that he... See, this may be someone thinking that because we have an extension, there's no custom actions involved. Because <laughs> well, we yeah, that's, silently that's... add the custom actions behind the scenes. I, I mean, it's, it, no, as I a runtime thing, this is totally fine. I, I'm I'm parsing it as how do we well I'm parsing it as uh, what do you want regex and I'm I'm still not well even just replace all characters of this with that yeah but ugh. sorry I guess where I'm at is property that, that's easy sure but how the hell would I mean again I I think he's expecting that extensions could extend, you know, so like, how would you do that? You know, you would still, arbitrarily, you would still need some kind of a, um, I have it's a custom action, right? So how yes. would you, how would yes. you set it up so that you can, at any point, arbitrarily call the custom action? I, I, custom action has generated an ID, and I mean... You know, well, yeah. I guess where I'm getting at is, you know, he's hoping that you can do, you know, instead of like bracket property name, you know, you can do brace property dot replace dot, you know, whatever. And totally possible with a custom action. No, it's not because how do you? Uh, okay. It just turns on how complex do you want to make the extension and the custom. That's what I'm saying. This is so complex that it's well beyond what it's certainly well, beyond what I think he's asking for. Um, well, for I, sure. I, I mean, you know, we could do an extension. I just, I don't see it having high value because it, it's, you're going to have to, you know, schedule the calls every time. Yeah. It's so or far. You could say from, that they all happen at install validator, you know, or something like that. I mean, you know, cost finalize, whatever. I mean, you know, something that yeah, makes sense. That's that's yeah, that's possible, I guess. I, I, I mean, right, I think you probably could take care of most of these things pretty well, you know, before you I or you know, and then or hell, just have the extension. You have to schedule each one, and the extension generates an ID for each res scheduling of it. No. Um, yeah. No. <laughs> but I mean, but if as long as you don't have a thousand of them, you know, it's not that. That's what people. I, yes. I, I understand. I understand. I, I, I agree. It could be used to extremes, but. There have oh, been no, times where bad. you wish you could just fix the, you know, replace the stupid hash in front of the number on the reg thing with a blank. Yeah, ab absolutely, absolutely. I just, That's it. Uh, we, we can't, what we really need there is to be able to hook into formatting. Well, and yeah, we know we can't do that. We know we can't. <laughs> so this would be the next best thing. <laughs> and we could do it well. <laughs> well, we could do it. Uh, yeah. I'm fine with that in 3x. Yeah, it's a still an edited feature. It could be done in 3x. Yep. Visible cabinet creation progress. Yeah, I agree. A little bit more progress. I agree. We, this would be we don't have. Uh, there's a lot we could do in. I know. There's a lot that could be done in progress here. Espe yeah, especially with light. Everybody's. Light can get a little bit. Can go a little dark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad for my being sick, man. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was pretty good. Anyway, yeah, that would be nice to have. Wix and votive. Wix cop and votive. Sure, I think that would be cool too. Hit a button, have votive just fix your code for you and all that kind of stuff. Right. That would be kind of cool. Sure, could be done. <laughs> I don't work on votive, so sure. <laughs> Wix right. libs are great. The real because of light. O two six seven error. Oh crap! What's that one? I have 40 DLLs, use my products. That's a component. This is the one that says that you don't, you're, you have a bunch of components that aren't tied to features. Oh, this is, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, I remember this. Yeah, this, this guy's, this is so bad. Like, I don't yeah. even know what happens to components when they're not tied to features. I can't believe this isn't a warning. Oh, it is. Oh, it's That's an error. the 267. That's, That's the 267. Error. Okay, good. 267 Sorry. is orphan component. Good. No, this guy's. I don't know what this. Is. It's like, no, 
this method works okay. It does greatly inside and aside. It's not any of those one. Or the no, this is so wrong. Break your fragments down smaller. Yeah. Have smaller component group. Yeah, no. Organize your functions better. <laughs> Embedded UI template. Embedded UI project template. Sure. Someone can provide a UI embedded UI template for the DTF stuff. That can make sense. Totally be additive. You can see that. Agreed. Yes. What's that? Agreed. Yep. Sorry, I thought you said. Oh. Uh, add. Uh oh. Suppress default admin sequence option. Invotive. Don't use. You know, I just removed this feature from four to suppress the admin sequence the sequences. Yeah, I wouldn't set it by default anyway. I don't think we, like, I don't remember why we added this. It came from Wix 1, and I have no idea why it was, I think it was just because we could. So it's just like, why? <laughs> yeah. Because we could. Well, I, there's a lot of experiments in Wix 1, dude. There's a whole lot of things that were not clear what the right way to do things were. I don't really know why we would do this. I mean, it's harmless. What, setting it, or? Having it. Having, having it. it. Admin sequence tables. Yeah. Right. Um, we could do this in 3x. We can't do it four. I just removed these switches in four. I'm actually curious to see if anybody screams and makes me put them back. But I, I. Well, this particular feature, I wouldn't. As in, it should be checked by default. And certainly not in votive. It should be checked by default. No, it should not be checked by default. This suppresses yeah. the admin sequence. It, well, that's well. I mean, that's the bug, right? Oh, most installations don't use. Oh, suppress default. Oh, suppress admin by and default. And check no. by default. Oh, uh, no. yeah, no. <laughs> All right, no, no. no. Uh, and this is going away, so we should just uh, honestly, maybe three nine, I'll go through and mark the switches deprecate and see who screams. That's what I should do. That's a good idea. You yeah, might, that's a really you, good you idea. That, <laughs> you mind opening that bug while I get the build machine spun up today? Sure. Give me that bug. 3.9. Woohoo, I get a 3.9 bug. Just what I wanted. <laughs> Add ability to ignore failure in XML config. Really? I need a change of value with the file on uninstall if the file exists. But errors if the file doesn't exist. Whoa. Okay. I suppose. That's kind of kooky, but I suppose. Yeah, all right. All right. Oh man, it's it's a uh, kooky requirement, but I can kind of see it. Yeah, sir. Well, and I don't know. I don't know a better way of doing it than this sort of thing. I mean, you could also say, you know, success if file does not exist, but I, that would be this very specific. I don't know. It's not wrong. I don't think. Do you want? It? I mean, I can no, see not I no. It. Detect file and conditioning call this. I mean, you could say that by default XML config shouldn't fail if the file's not there, but then that would be bad. Yeah, which he that that would be bad because ignore be like, missing as yeah, an option. Right, ignore absent file or something. It does, like, okay, it's a it's a reasonable enough request. We can put in three X. It's additive. So I don't know. Yeah. Registry doesn't allow this. I don't know what registry doesn't allow this. No, you can't update things on uninstalled registry keys. No, not not without a custom action. Yeah, I'm new to Wix. I was getting this error. I agree, this error is horrible. Um, although I'm not sure how we could fix it, but <clears throat> yeah, that's the problem. The error is horrible, but I I don't <laughs> because of the command line. It's kind of like yeah, we're trying to create a file with, of that type. It's a source file. I've never liked this error message much anyway, but. He's still going to get file create. I mean, it's always going to say that. All we can do is fix this. Or we could, you're right, we, you know, honestly, he's right. We should add a little bit more information. This this needs at least another sentence. I don't understand. I've got this error message in the past, and it's always like, the system cannot find the file, blah. And I'm always like, 
it, it's abrupt. It should say, you know, make sure that the file exists, you know, and yada, yada, yada. It's basically, this is the file whenever you give Candle a WXS file that doesn't exist. This is the kind of message you'll get on the command line. Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure how you say that. What? I, I, I can't find a file. Make sure that it exists. Well, okay. It's, uh, well, the problem is that when you read it like this with type source, I, I just I dislike we're reusing an error message here that we use in other places I think sure and and this is confusing because it's capitalized too this, I've I've hit this message before it just it bugged me a little bit I completely agree well I agree this error the error message the approach of with type source is dumb and and yeah overly right. used stuff so we should fix uh, this bug <laughs> well yeah I guess so the, I mean the problem is I'm not sure what else you say. I was looking for a file and it's not there. Uh, what, what, you know, the, so the Verify the is, command line that you pass the tool is correct, because that's really what it's going to come down to. The command line or the project file, you know, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, okay. Uh, I don't want to dump the command line parameters back. I, it's just this message is a little abrupt. I'll agree with that. I'm not sure how you fix it, but I'll agree it's an abrupt message. All right. Well, we can. Can we toss this in three nine? I'd like a shot at it if nobody else gets to it before me. Well, if I'm going to assign it in three nine, it's going to be assigned to you. Fine. I'll take. Okay. It. <laughs> I, I hit this in four, or when I was doing work in four, and I just sat there looking at that message going blah again. So. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. That's it. Ten o'clock. We didn't get anywhere near forty. How many did we get? 19? Oh, crap, I didn't look. What, we were at 4.30 when we started, I think? Oh, I got, oh, I only got, yeah, 20. One. One. There's one more? Yep. This is the one. 21. 21. Lame. Oh, well. Oh, well. Let's see, how many pages do we have left? 17. Still 17. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so we have to get ten bugs to get to there. All right, well, uh, there we go. Triage for the day. Um, hopefully a build comes out this afternoon. Uh, you guys have fun next week. I'll be gone. Um, and I'll be back the following week to kick out the, the final build, hopefully, of Wix 3.8 and all that kind of stuff. So start figuring out what you want in 3.9 and party hard and all that kind of stuff. Cool? Sounds good. All right. Well, have a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening to you, and I'll see you on the other side. Bye. Bye.